I've been requested by several of you to walk you through how to submit an assignment uh, to turn it in through Moodle. And we're going to use the sophomore class for this. I've already logged in. And the assignment that they're going to be doing uh, that's a turn it in assignment is the assassination of Philip II. Even though it's the assassination of Philip II, this process will be the same regardless of which assignment you're doing as long as it's a turn it in assignment. And you'll notice that there's a slight difference uh, when you go to the submission page and that'll alert you to the fact that it's a turn it in assignment. As always, you look for the little hand holding the piece of paper to indicate that you've got an assignment. And I'm going to click on it. Alright. The fact that there is no place for me to hit browse to look for a file indicates that this is a Turnitin assignment in Moodle. I'm going to hit submit and it's going to take me to Turnitin. You'll re recognize that the top part of the screen is still Moodle. The bottom half is your Turnitin assignment inbox. In this case, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the little piece of paper that's underneath submit. And that's going to take you to where you can actually upload your file. Almost all of the time, we're going to be a single file upload. So leave that the default. Your first name and last name should already have been filled in. And in your submission title, you should title it something that is relevant for the project. In this case, the assassination of Philip II, you might want to put your person. For instance, I'm going to say I'm one of the suspects and this is my paper, so I've got my name there. I'm not looking for your name, but the name of your suspect. Or if it's another type of assignment, another title that is going to be indict indicative of that assignment. Please note that they only allow Word, WordPerfect, PostScript, PDF, HTML, rich text format, which is RTF, in plain text. So if you have a Mac, you're going to have to make sure that you uh, save your file as like RTF or PDF. Same thing if you have Microsoft Works, you're going to have to save it as a PDF or an RTF in order for Turnitin to read it. So just like we do for other assignments, we're going to click Browse and we're going to go back to documents here and we're going to click on the bio there and then you click upload once it's uploaded it's going to redirect you to the submission preview page this is where you can actually read the preview see whether or not this is the paper you really want to submit if it's not you can click return to upload page and choose a different file. In this case, I'm going to hit submit because this is the one I want to put in. When you get to this page where you have paper title and then importantly it gives a paper ID number, that means you have actually successfully submitted your assignment. And this is your digital receipt. In this case, if you want to kind of check and read your report, you're going to go back to your assignment inbox. And it might take about five minutes before you're going to get the report. The report you're going to see, it's already grayed out here. You'll get to see that it'll be a percentage. You'll be a color anywhere from green all the way up to red. Green means it's a low percentage. Red is a high percentage. Please, if you have information that you have cited, Go back and take a look at that report and make sure that you actually have cited everything that you're supposed to. The percentage isn't important to me. What's, what is important is did you actually correctly cite what you were supposed to. And this is how you submit an assignment through Turnitin in Moodle.